there's a lineup at Timmy's. The fact that there's a lineup at Timmy's doesn't surprise anybody. But I got going about 10 minutes later than I usually do and that I wanted to. I forgot to brush my teeth. <laughs> That's my excuse. <laughs> so I had to go back and brush my teeth. But I'm 10 minutes later than I usually would be. And I'm not sure when this specific Tim Hortons opens. I'm pretty sure it probably opens at 6, maybe 5. And I usually roll through here at about 6.15. Now I'm rolling through here at 6.25 that's the difference it makes this is how everybody's commute works I've noticed this before already too that if I'm just 10 minutes later than usual there's a ton more people on the road so if I just get going at my regular like 615 or earlier everything is clear and I don't have any lineup in the drive through I just zip right through and zip off to work right so I have figured out when is the best time and when is not so good. The rest of the day, there's going to be a lineup in here. And apparently it starts at 625. Just so you know, if you want a coffee without a lineup, you got to be here before 625. Hi, can I get a medium coffee? Uh, one cream and a shot of espresso, please? No, thank you. That's it. Super duper. Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. Their signs are bright. I keep forgetting to put my shades on before I get to the sign at the Timmy's. Is that, are they that bright in other parts of the country too? Are they always that bright? Or is ours just like turned up to max? <laughs> it's so bright. I definitely want you to be able to see what you're ordering. Definitely. From across town. So our trailer should be right where we left it yesterday. It's that same trailer that we uh, loaded up on, was it Friday? The roll tight. I have a correction to make. I've been calling it a curtain side trailer. And you need to forgive my ignorance there. It's not actually a curtain side trailer. Curtain side trailers have a hard roof and just the sides roll up, hence curtain side. This was, uh, how do I pronounce this? Constanoga? a Constanoga trailer. The guys in the yard here just call them roll tight trailers. Roll tight. Not a curtain side. Similar, but not a curtain. Not a curtain side. I'm still pretty new to these things because we just acquired them a couple of months ago. And this is actually my third time today pulling one of these. So I got the names a little bit mixed up but the majority of you understood what I meant, but I should correct it for those of you who uh, who did hear it. Uh, it's not a curtain side, but it, it's, it's similar. Conestoga? Constanoga. Con... Conus... Con... Ke, kem. I'm gonna have to read your comments again. There's a name for these trailers. I do apologize for calling it a curtain side. It does have curtain sides, but it also has a curtain top and it rolls, which makes it different than a curtain side. Like I was saying earlier, a curtain side has a hard top and usually a hard back, I guess, too. And it has a hard frame and then just the sides roll up. I saw your comments. I saw your comments. I still learn new things every day, guys. Does anyone else enjoy breaking up all the ice in the morning? My inner kid comes out. All right, uh, I'm supposed to be kicking the tires here. All looking good, all looking good. The sun is coming up, it's time to go trucking. And that beautiful sunrise means it's time to go. Time to get trucking. Just double check, make sure our trailer's attached, little tug test. There it is, okay. Let's go, we're 
going to Stonewall. We're going to load a 20 foot piece of something. Not too sure what it is yet, but we'll find out. I've arrived and it's a ghost town out here. They're probably still inside. I'm gonna have to go let them know I'm here. So we're picking up two orders and we're adding it onto the freight that's already in the trailer. Uh, one order here is going to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And one order is going to Greeley, Colorado. That's so cool. We go through, we go to so many different places now. Now, when I was over the road, I would have loved to go to New Mexico and Colorado. We didn't go there as much then, so now we got freight going that way all the time. So we're gonna pick, uh, pick this stuff up here. Roll up the roll tight. First, we're gonna go make sure we're in the right spot, and then uh, get them to put the stuff on us and tie her down and bring her back. Someone's. On their way to New Mexico and Colorado. Keep your eyes open if you're out there. You might see this blue roll tight rolling through there in a few days. Oh yeah, it's still early. Oh, it's still early. One thing. Oh, let's drag ourselves out of our truck here. Oh. Okay, here she is. Here she is. So you guys out there, you keep your eyes peeled for a big blue roll tight like this, all right? And if you see it, let me know. Okay, because that's the trailer I loaded up then. Got some miles ahead of her. This is going to Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's going to Greenlee, Colorado. And the rest of that stuff up there is going to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it all has to be tarped. Can you imagine tarping this? Let me ease your anxiety. You didn't think I was actually going to tarp this, would you? This would be a nightmare to tarp. Can you imagine? All of these weird angles. All the steel at the back. Ripping up your tarps going down the highway. I'd be here for three hours. No, 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 no. We don't tarp this stuff. We've got the roll tight. Or the Constanoga. Constan I still haven't double checked the spelling. <laughs> I'll show you how we tarp things in the 21st century. So let me welcome you to the future. Let's go. 
Okay, I'm gonna get this right. My buddy Moses from Virginia, he hauls these trailers all the time. He rides a nice, rides in a nice truck too. That whole company's just got mint equipment, always clean. Makes this truck look like a little farm truck. He drives some nice equipment. So uh, I'm gonna go to his comment here uh, so that I get the right pronunciation. Moses, where's your comment? Where did you leave it? I saw it here this morning. I responded to it, didn't I? Moses. Moses. It's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Moses. 13 hours ago, you uh, commented on my video. He said, I kept yelling at my phone. It's right in front of you. You walked past it 10 times. He was talking about that bar. I was trying to find that bar. Uh, we call those trailers Cons Conestoga. Conestoga. Did I pronounce that right? See, even Trucker Josh learns new things. You never stop learning in this industry. You're always learning. C-O-N-E-S-T-O-G-A. I hope you spelt it right, Moses, because I'm I'm trusting you here. <laughs> Conestoga trailers. He said, in the U.S., uh, curtain side is where it has doors and a roof like a dry van, and just the sides are a curtain, hence the name curtain side. He, said, he loves pulling his Conestoga. He wouldn't want to pull dry van anymore. These trailers are gray. So Conestoga. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right, guys, in the comments today. I'm going to get this right because I'm going to be pulling these more often. And I don't want to keep calling it the wrong name. Okay? I've got to get it right. Okay? It's okay to make mistakes like that and call things the wrong names. As long as you correct yourself when uh, people point out that you sound silly because you're calling it the wrong name. <laughs> okay. Stop screaming at me. Let's pull this back to the yard. There's a driver waiting for it, I'm sure. This way. This town is called Stonewall, Manitoba. I'm not sure why. I know they have some like rock quarries here, right? There's a town close by called Stony Mountain as well. So there's a lot of stones around here, I think. Stonewall and Stony Mountain. There's some stones right there. I don't know. And I haven't found the wall yet, but you know, I bet it's made of stone. Stony Mountain just down the way there is uh, where our federal, no, not federal, is it a provincial? It's a high security, uh, max security prison is. That's uh, where all the bad boys are kept. I believe the bad girls are kept somewhere else. But I don't know. Maybe they keep malls. I don't know. I've never been there. I wouldn't know. I don't really plan on going. Street sweeper. Awesome. Yeah, you clean those streets. The streets are just filthy every spring. Oh, I could have gone. I could have gone. Oh, I should have. I could still go. I could still go. I'm way too nice. I'm way too nice. I should have gone. I should have gone. Nobody behind me. Maybe I just turn my signal on to let people know which way I'm going. That would help. Come on, Trucker Josh. It's Friday. Don't shut your brain off yet, though. Okay, here we go. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm just gonna send it. Oh, those are military graves there. I noticed that last time. I was gonna go take a look at that sometime see who's actually buried there if it was uh, from World War One or World War Two or pay our respects there have to do it next time so we're gonna get back to the yard just before lunch and uh, find out what the rest of the day has for us have I mentioned it's Friday She is all ready for the highway driver. It's been very windy outside today, so I've been trying to avoid filming outside because all the audio just gets messed up in here anyways. But I'll show you what I did after this uh, 
curtain, not, not curtain side, I almost call it curtain side again. The last load that we picked up that I filmed, I did another one since then. We didn't film it, but uh, that's it right there. I went and picked it up in Winnipeg and I brought it back here for the highway driver. This is going to Ottawa, Ontario, our nation's capital. No idea what it is. Bunch of stuff. It's going all the way to Ottawa. So it was a full load. Now we're gonna bobtail into Winnipeg and go pick up a van trailer. Van division is in need of us. I'm the man for the job. Got a dry van sitting on uh, Route 90, northwest side of the city, complete opposite side from where we are in the southeast. Gotta pick it up, bring it back here. I think it's all full of mattresses. And I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be it for this week. I've already got an assignment on Monday morning. I gotta pull a flatbed out to the Rosenord area and pick up half a trailer load and bring it back here. But we'll worry about that next week. We got a weekend to enjoy first. Let's not even talk about work next week, okay? Open says me. Come on, I'm clicking my fancy little button. Come on, oh, there it is. It takes a minute. Probably take me about two hours, 50 minutes or so, five zero, 50 minutes to go and get the trailer, 50 minutes back plus hooking up. And I'll probably stop for a coffee. Ooh, that Kenworth was dirty. Did you see it there on the left? That was my old Kenworth. I drove that for a long time. Now another driver here owns it. He bought it. Still here. Crazy thought. It's the weekend, officially. They got you a fresh bed to sleep on for the weekend. Fresh gravel. Brought in to cover up all that soft dirt that we've been uh, tearing up back here. See you kids play nice all weekend, all right? See you first thing Monday. Mm hmm. The official first barbecue of the season. This is a sacred day. I even brought out the patio set. We really gotta do some spring cleaning around here though, eh? Whew. Leaves all over the place still from last year. Speak to me. Did you miss me? I was lazy at the end of last season. Actually, we barbecued in the middle of winter and I'm gonna defend myself a little bit here. I didn't clean it off because it was like minus 30. I was a little lazy, but I have an excuse. It was really, really cold. But that barbecue doesn't count. This is the official first barbecue because we can do it outside comfortably. Diesel, what do you think? It has officially begun. Dun, dun, dun. There they are. Cool, that's all you get. That's all you get. That's all they get, Diesel. I'm not gonna let all the heat out. Sorry, guys. I've been sharing my barbecue experience on the internet and my phone's been going crazy. I appreciate how excited you guys are all for me in this moment. Thank you for all the responses and replies to my pictures. 